Hey, caregivers, it's Vicki with Dementia with Grace. Today we're going to talk about the five things nobody talks about. So we're going to talk about them. Um, you know, everybody talks about memory loss as it relates to dementia, but, other, but people don't talk about the other losses that are related to dementia. So we're going to talk about that today. So hang on, we're going to get into it, okay? Thanks. All right, so what we're going to talk about today is the five things that nobody talks about um, that are also losses related to dementia. It's not just memory loss. Most people think that Alzheimer's type dementia, any other types of dementia, is only memory loss, only confusion. Um, that's all that, that they associate it with, but it's, it's other losses. And in some of the dementias, like Lewy body dementia or frontotemporal dementia, memory loss is secondary. Memory loss is, is on down the line. So the five things that I talk about um, are memory loss. It's M-C-C-J-R-I. It's the way I remember it. Memory loss, concentration, critical thinking, judgment, reasoning, and insight. Those are the other. So there is memory loss, and then there's the others, and I will, I will, I will um, drop them down below. But those things are also critical losses. Um, being able to reason, um, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's absolutely, uh, um, it's a, it's a hard road to hoe if you were trying to reason with somebody with dementia. They just don't have the reasoning. Um, section of their brain um, that you know they have think about it they have a broken brain um, and they can't reason they can't it doesn't make sense to them um, reasonable explanations sometimes you know when they think you know they they've lost their billfold let's say and um, it's reasonable to them it makes sense in their mind that their billfold was there and now it's not there so somebody stole it but that's not you know that's that's not the only conclusion that we can draw, right? But with somebody that has lost their reasoning, their critical thinking, um, they just can't, they can't reason that out anymore. People that um, have dementia have lost their um, concentration. Uh, maybe somebody was an avid, voracious reader, and now they don't read anymore, and you can't understand why, you know, all of a sudden they, they've just quit reading. Well, they may have lost their concentration um, and they can't keep up with the characters in the book. Or they won't watch a movie anymore. They won't watch a whole two, you know, two hour movie because they can't keep up with the movie. They might watch a 30 minute I Love Lucy or you know, a 30 minute little show or a game show or something like that, but they don't watch football anymore. They can't keep up with the game. That's concentration, that's loss of concentration. Insight is just um, their ability to understand what is going on with them um, and with the world around them. It's just the loss of insight. Um, and judgment is making poor judgments. Leaving the stove on, leaving the water running, um, not eating um, their food in the refrigerator in time and then it spoils and then they don't have the judgment to know not to eat that because it's it been in there for five days instead of two days or 10 days. So they don't have that judgment, reasoning, insight, concentration, critical thinking. So it's all, it's a lot more than just memory loss. It's not just memory loss. And the way I remember it again is M-C-C-J-R, memory loss, critical thinking, concentration, judgment, reasoning, and insight. Those are the ways that I remember it. Here's the book behind me. I'll have a link um, to that down below. Um, you can get a copy of the book and I go into all of this inside the book and lots and lots more. The book's focus is mainly behavior management because that's usually what I am most involved in now as a consultant. I get called when uh, people's behaviors are so bad that um, they can no longer be managed at home or they're in a facility and they can no longer be managed in the facility. And people call me and they say, you know, we want to keep them in place. Um, what can we do with their behaviors? Well, I ended up writing a book about it. And so that's what the book Dementia with Grace is all about. So the link will be down, down there below. Please leave me a, 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 um, a comment. Let me know if these are helping. If there's something different that you need to know about, I 
I am here to serve you. I want to meet your needs as a dementia caregiver. I want to make sure that I'm answering the questions that you have about your individual person. Um, and the only way that I'm going to know how to do that is if you leave me a comment. Jump on over. If you need more support, jump on over to Facebook. We have a robust Facebook support group. I'm inside there every day. I was in there this morning answering questions. And subscribe to this group and, and, and subscribe to this um, channel and hit the little bell too so that you're notified every time that I have a new video, okay? All right. I thank you so much for allowing me to come into your into your space, into your home, into your head and explain to you um, you know, what dementia is all about and how we can help people on the journey have an easier journey. It's not going to be easy. Dementia is not easy. Dementia caregiving is not easy. But we can make it easier. We absolutely can make it easier and I have strategies to teach you how. I'm looking so forward to getting to know all of y'all and um, and just grow in this channel and, and just being a help. That's what it's all about. All right. I'll talk to y'all soon. Take care. Bye.